Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Naomi Season 1, Episode 1, Don't Believe Everything You Think. At least I think that's what the title is. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is going to be a review. I don't know, because this is mainly just my thoughts on the first episode. Um, so I might do a little bit of a review, might not, I don't know. This is just my central thoughts of like what I think of this like show so far, because it's only been like one episode. I don't get it. Period. <laughs> like I don't understand what this show is even supposed to be about. And I've been feeling this way for over a month now. Um about a month ago I saw the trailer. Cause I saw, like I saw that they were going to have another superhero show on the CW. I never heard Naomi at all, like never. And so I'm like, okay, I'll check out the trailer. And the first trailer, all I saw was a girl talking, riding a skateboard. That's it. I'm just like, huh? <laughs> then a couple of weeks ago, I saw the second trailer. The second trailer, basically the first seven minutes of the first episode. And it still didn't explain nothing. I'm just like, what the, who is this person <laughs> and stuff? And why she keep mentioning Superman and stuff? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to go to Wikipedia <laughs> because the trailer did not explain nothing. And so when I went to Wikipedia, it turns out that Naomi McDuffie is a fairly new superhero that was just recently created back in 2019. So she's only about like three years old. That's not much to go on basing this off a TV series. She barely has any comics. And so like, she doesn't have a long history like other DC heroes and stuff. So I don't know why the CW ran with this when there were so many other ones that are legendary that people would love to see. I'm not the only person who feels this way. There's a lot of people who don't even know who this person is. Um, the reviews on Twitter are mixed. <laughs> the reviews on IMBD are like average. <laughs> so the, the problem with this is that like, no matter what type of show you make, cartoon, TV series, um, real life, science fiction, whatever, 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 your first episode is supposed to draw people in and hook you at the start. The trailer is supposed to hook you at the start. The trailer and first episode of this did not do that for me because it left me so confused. I had to go to Wikipedia. And the thing about Wikipedia is that it's because she's so new. The only thing it really states is um, the person who created her. Um, it tells the, her origin backstory, which what you saw in the first episode. And that's it. <laughs> There's nothing else. There's no who's her recurring characters in the comic book. There's no who. They only talk about one super villain. That's it. They don't have a listing of like, like, like her super villain doesn't even have a link to his name on um, Wikipedia. This is like so confusing. Like, who is this person? And so like... I, I, I just don't get it. I think the person who created her... Um, something Bendis. I forget his name. Brian something Bendis. I think he's the one who created Miles Morales. And so, hopefully it will pick up like, you know, his comic did and stuff. But, um, is it Michael something? How is this? It's something Bendis, I remember. And so, like, in this episode. Now, in this episode, there was only two things I liked. One, I like the actress who plays Naomi. She is very likable. Um, she's really good at acting. She, she, I, I really enjoy seeing her. The second thing I liked is the skateboarding. I enjoy that in the stream a lot. Even though she is not the one doing the skateboarding, her stunt double is, it's still nice to see. And that's it. <laughs> I don't like none of the characters on the show. The recurring characters who are like her friends and love interests, every single last one is annoying. Like, all of her friends seem like they came from like a Vine or a TikTok video. It's just a bunch of hyperactive people who record themselves and that's about it. Um, her parents, her adoptive parents are okay, uh, not much to them. The villains are villains. Um, 
they're intimidating looking, but I don't get them. So let me recap really fast what happened in like the episode. And then I'll tell you what Wikipedia says on who this person is. And because it's basically the same thing what you read online is what you saw in the episode, except for one tidbit. And it will help you understand this a little bit better. Okay, so there's this girl, she's constantly talking, constantly narrating. Um, she goes to parties with her friends and there's this guy that she likes and he likes her back But she has this other friend who is like her really good friend and he wasn't invited He says because he's a townie and they're all military brat people and her, the guy that had the party doesn't like townies And so this causes conflict between him and her because she likes this guy, but he does she um like, you know, since he won't accept her friend, like, you know, she really doesn't want that much to do with him and stuff. Now, she constantly rides her skateboard all around town and she is obsessed with Superman. She thinks he's like the coolest superhero there is, but he is Superman comic book form. There is no Superman, there are no superheroes on this world. And so, like... She has this other friend who's like really hyperactive and the Naomi girl has like this Superman website where she fangirls over all the time. Now, she's adopted. Never met her parents. Um, she's uh, adopted to this interracial couple. Um, she goes to the comic book store and there's this purple haired lady who, you know, I I'm guessing Naomi in this is bisexual and everything because of the conversation that they had. See, at first you think she's straight because of the dude that she was like crushing on. And, but then all of a sudden when she's at the combo store, she tells the combo lady to text her if you have any news on the Superman sighting and, or just text me if you don't. And then so everybody looked kind of like, hmm, and it's kind of like, yeah. So, so apparently I guess she's like bisexual. I have no idea. I have no idea what she's in the combo book. Because, um, like I said, like, there's not much info on the comic itself. So, she's constantly, like, obsessing about Superman, this and that. She's at school. And then when she's at school, there, she gets a text from her friend. There is a Superman sighting. She just can't believe this because Superman does not exist. So, she leaves school, <laughs> tells her teacher, I'll be back in 10 minutes and everything. Um, till I come in the bathroom or whatever. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> you don't tell your teacher that. So she hops on her skateboard and she zooms around town. Like I said before, I like skateboarding. And then before she can even see Superman, she passes out for some reason. Don't know why, she just passes out. Then she wakes up and the whole Superman stuff is over. with. Everybody thinks it's a publicity stunt. A bunch of actors, this and that. So she goes around town and she's uh, videotaping people who saw everything. And then um, she looks around the scene, the crime scene, and she sees all the security cameras have been like broken and everything. So she starts to investigate. She starts to piece together all the videos that um, were taken and everything. And it shows what happened. Now we do see Superman flying around, beating somebody up who's blue. And but the thing is like this, there's no actor playing Superman. It's just CGI form. And in the video, she notices that there's this man who's looking directly up at Superman and Superman acknowledges him. They know each other somehow. It's the, um, I think it's the tattoo guy. So at some point, her and the guy, they visit a tattoo guy and he creeps them out. Um, then she passes, um, she goes to school, this one dude who's a used car salesman. He always gives her a creepy look. She knows something's up with this dude, but she don't know what. So as she's investigating and everything, um, the tattoo dude's all like, oh yes, I set everything up. This is how I know him. I hired an actor, blah, 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 blah. And he says in a very stiff, kind of boring kind of way, these characters are so boring on the show. And so like, so then she realizes something, the incident in which this had happened coincides with the day she was adopted. So it makes her investigate more. Something leads her into the woods. I forget what, because I went to go do something. And when I came back, she was in the woods and she had this disc in her hand. And I don't know what was so special about this disc, but then all of a sudden, here comes the man uh, from the used car dealership and he's creeping her out. And he's telling her all this cool, creepy, like villainous stuff and blah, blah, blah. And she's getting creeped out. Then all of a sudden, 
the wind starts to pick up and all the leaves on the ground are floating up in the air spiraling you assume it's him not sure if it is or not but then all of a sudden it's a kind of like a combustion blast of like air and it hits him and it bounces off him and it hits her she thinks he did it but he's all and he tells her it wasn't him and everything so it must have been her somehow she did that she don't know how so i forget what happened after that because i think i'm gonna go use the restroom <laughs> then when i came back at some point um she's monologuing again and her eyes glow so she has some kind of powers now that's all that happened in that episode there's not much to go on it's, it feels more like a, 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 a high school drama that just so happens to have a superhero that you don't even know is a superhero and who has powers and stuff so it's one of those type of cw shows where you think it's one thing but it's actually something different now in the comic book this is what exactly happens um this is set on a parallel earth where there are no superheroes superman does not exist and then like i said before the naomi girl who is her last name maduffy she's based off of the comic book creator um Dwayne maduffy who passed away so she is obsessed with superman now many years ago there was this something this ozone ooze layer thingy whatever it affected tons dozens of people gave them superhero powers it made them godlike all of a sudden a whole bunch of them died and there's only probably about 16 or 9 left or something like that now naomi is not one of those people affected she was actually the first born child of two of those affected metahumans and everything and so those were her parents and then something happened she got adopted and so um one day something happened where superman just happened to show up in town um before she could witness that you know like i said before she passed out blah 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 started investigating found out it's the same day she was adopted and um and so it turns out that like at some point she um, joins the young justice and all this other stuff and there's not much to her when it comes to her powers she shoots out energy blasts they're super strong and super powerful that's all we know once again i don't get why this show was created this superhero is not well known she's very new her origin is unique very unique but when it comes to the show all the characters around her are very boring um nothing happened in this episode that makes you go like oh my god wow i have to check out the next week episode like there's nothing like that so this was bad everything on the cw part bad managing bad marketing um the person who created this show should have had like a banger of a first episode but did not i'm starting to question the creator of the show because she needs a big win i forget what she did in something else in the past like another show or movie and it didn't do so well so she needs a win big time and this is not going to happen um maybe the casual viewers will watch this i don't see this picking up unless they do something like very wow you know what i'm saying like this could very well be the very first cw superhero so show that probably gets canceled after one season they have to pick up in the next episode they cannot drag they cannot go all cw on everybody they cannot have a bunch of fillers they need to grab people like by the butts and make them sit down and watch and this first episode did not do it but i did like the skateboarding <laughs> but i'm not gonna keep watching this show just for that um it would have been more interesting if they would have tied this into the superman lois show uh like a backdoor pilot but like i said before he doesn't technically supposed to exist on her world so the question is will he ever appear again and if so who's he gonna be played by i don't want to see the dude from superman lois constantly being their superman like get somebody new you know what i'm saying or bring back brandon ralph and treat him better this time you know so those are just my thoughts on this first episode 
Like, you wouldn't even notice as a superhero show if you watched it. Like, honest to God, you would assume that this is just a paranormal teen drama if you was to watch this on the CW. Like, that's what it felt like. It didn't feel like a superhero comic book show. And, like I said before, they should have picked somebody else. Why not Blue Beetle? He gets pretty popular every now and then. He has a cool outfit. Um... God, what is the CW doing? <laughs> now they're going to have that Gotham Night Show. And it's just, um, what are they doing, man? What are they doing? 